Welcome to another code walkthrough of GraphGL Neural Network with Python. To create a neural network. First, we need to get the structure of this neural network from GUI. The input combo boxes contains the information of one input layer, three hidden layer and one output layer. Let's move to create nodes method, it will be invoked when we click create network button. We need to create a flag to check if a network already exists. If so, we then will have to clear it, before create a new one. At the moment we will leave the clear method empty, we will fill it up later. So, let's get nodes information from those input combo boxes. To make things a bit easier, we can put all these combo boxes inside a list. So save us time typing their name one by one down the track. Let's go back to create nodes method. Because these input boxes contain zeros, we have to remove them first. Here we put the remaining in a variable called list combo get. Start with loop to go through list combo get, which contains none zero combo input boxes. J is layer index, where if J equals to 1, means currently at first layer. To create nodes onto canvas, we need to calculate the their coordinates, it is done by a separate utility method called get node position. We will look into details of the method later. A list called list layer is to store nodes object in one layer, it is a one dimensional list. Now we start a second loop, for each coordinate we have, we will create a node. Vnode is a separate class. After calling Vnode create, a node will be created on canvas. Vnode is a complicated class that will handle the graphics and also click and drag action. It contains not just a circle but also several visual elements. We will discuss the details later. We also need to set a what variable in nodes to define what type of nodes they are. There are three types, input, output, and hidden. Here we use the J to check the type, if J equals to 1, then they are input nodes. If J equals to the length of the list, then they are output nodes. We also will put all nodes into a list called list V nodes. List V node is a two dimensional list, it contains layers, each layer then contains the actual nodes. Create arrows is to link all the nodes with arrow, each arrow represents related weight as well. The flatten list vnode and setup control network are for setting up backend neural network. where random number is to initialize all the network weights and bias with random numbers. After these actions, we also need to create some flags to record current user input status. Network created is true. Network trained is false. If user has already loaded training feature and training label, then we have to reload them. All these are to maintain the usability so user is not required to start from scratch again should they decided to change something in the middle of the training process. Now we need to go back to init method to list all the class variables we just created. This is not necessary, but I do this just to keep track all the variable used in the program. So if I want to change something, I know there is a place to find them instead of search in the codes. There are also a few methods added need to be created, for the moment, we just leave them empty. 
we will come back to implement them later. Also we need to remove the leftover return statement. The workflow in this create nodes method is to get input from combo boxes. And then remove zeros, loop up through the inputs to get position for each nodes. Then create nodes, tag them as input or output, and all of them to be grouped by layer and put into an overall node list. There are several actions to the back end. Generate arrows, randomize weights, and bias. Flatten node list, set up back end. At the end is to update related flags, and redo actions when network gets recreated in the middle of usage. Now let's start to implement methods required in create nodes. First is to get node position, it is a method in utility file. This method takes three argument, first is the number of columns or layers. Second the number of rows in current column. The third is current layer index, if it is first layer, the number will be 1. Up left corner is the origin point where x and y equal to 0, x axis is towards right, and y axis points down. To calculate distance between columns is by dividing canvas width plus some offset with total number of columns. Here the offset is set to minus 180. So now we have x position. Distance between rows is by dividing canvas height with number of rows plus 2, as we need to have gaps at top and bottom. After this we need a loop to calculate position for each node in this layer. You can see from the diagram, each node will have its X and Y position calculated given the gaps and their row indices. We need to offset a bit based on node's height and width, because node's original point is at top left not in the center. Add node size parameters in variable section. After this, all coordinates are added into a list to return to the caller, which is create nodes method in view class. This completes this method. Next thing to do is to create vnode class. First, we create a file called vnodepy. In the empty file, we start with importing statements. Then, create vnode class. Similar to all other classes, we start with initial method. Inside it we define several variables. Such as bias. Left arrow list contains all arrows to the node from left. Where right arrow list contains all arrows from the node to right. We will create arrow class later. Dot what is to define type of the node, there are three types, input, hidden or output. Value is the node's calculation result, it is calculated based on value given from previous node, weight and bias. It is shown in blue. And started with AV. Now we need to do the create method. It takes three arguments. Kin is the canvas which will be passed to us from view class. X and Y are nodes top left coordinate. After we get the start point coordinate, first thing is to calculate it related points in the node for us to position other elements. We put them in a method called update points. The end point is the bottom right corner of the node. Center point is in the middle. Left and right points are on each side. Text and text V are coordinates for node bias and node value. Node bias is on top and node value is at bottom. We also need to define several parameters in utility file. Node size is there already, equals to 50. Create text offset Y, we can use it to shift text up and down. Here is to shift down 16 pixels. 
Now we use Canvas Create Oval to create the node circle. We used the points we already calculated in Update Points method to give the circle start and end points. The start point is its top left corner, and end point is its bottom right corner, color is orange and we give it a tag called drag. The drag tag does not do anything yet, it is just a tag for this element, we can bind event to elements with certain tags. Every element being created will return an integer as an ID, here we save it in self.cid. Use this ID we can access the element later on. After the circle is to create left point, it is a small square on left of circle edge. The arguments are self-explanatory. In utility file we need to add the dot half size variable. Similar code to create the right point as a small square. The last two statements are to create texts on canvas. The first one is to display self.bias, and second is to display value, we give them different colors for better visual. We store all the return ID numbers in class variables for future access. Also we need to pass can argument to self.canvas. Let's see if we can test the node graphics. We need to comment out the methods that we have not implemented. Let's try first. Seems we have not imported vnode yet. Add the import vnode. And click on run. Good. It worked. The arrows are missing, and it won't clear the graphics before updating. Also we can not click and drag them. We have completed create nodes method, and now we need to look into create arrow method. First is to remove comment for create arrow in views create node method. Under create arrows method we start a for loop to go through all the nodes in list v nodes. This list was populated in view.create node method. Variable i contains all the layers. Where j are the nodes in each layer. To define an arrow we need to get its start point and end point. The coordinates can be retrieved from corresponding nodes. For the end point we need to skip the last layer, as for arrows from last layer there will be no end point. After we get coordinates for both start and end point, we call vArrow to create arrow object, and call vArrow.create to complete the creation. We will look into vArrow class soon. After that we add left and right arrow reference to starting and ending nodes, Q is ending node, where J is the starting node. We do the same for arrows so from every arrow you can call left and right nodes. Same to nodes. We put all the arrows in a list for future use, if any. We need to go back to view.init to add this arrow list. There are two methods, getRightCod and getLeftCod to be added in vnode class. They are simply just to return the left and right coordinates. First we create vArrow.py file. Then we start with import vUtility. Create vArrow class. In the initial method, first we define variables. Weight represents weight in neural network. 
left and right nodes point to node objects, the orange circles. So when we need to reference these two objects, we can just call these two variables. Dot what defines type of the object, it is arrow here. So next method is create. It takes can as canvas, which will be passed by method caller. S is start point coordinates, and E is end point coordinates. Similar structure to node, we use update point method to calculate other coordinates. In arrow class, this is simply the coordinate for the weight text position. It is just the middle point, based on start and end point coordinates. So dot canvas equals to argument can. Next is to create the arrow graphics on canvas, it takes start and end coordinates. We just need the end point to have an arrow so arrow parameter equals to last. We give it a tag as arrow, so we can use the tag to filter different elements later. Then we store returned ID in self.aid. We use create text to create weight text, this is similar to create text in node class. One more thing here is we use font to define type and size of font. We define this in utility file. We set the size smaller, because these weight numbers are quite long. Before we start testing canvas graphics there are still a few things to be completed. First we need to add vArrow import statement at the beginning of the view file. And then we need to add codes to clear method. Remember previously the old nodes were still on canvas which mess up with the new ones. First is to clear the canvas using delete to remove everything from the canvas. And then we clear all the lists that contain nodes and arrows. We do not need to destroy these elements to free memories, because Python will take care of garbage collection for us. There is a typo needs to be fixed, that is vArrow file name, should start with lowercase v. So last thing is, there are two more methods in vNode are missing. They are add left and add right arrow methods. It's pretty straightforward, they just add arrows to list within each nodes. We use list here because one node has lots incoming and outgoing arrows. Great. It worked. Also by populating the clear method in view, we now can update neural network graphics. There are a few error messages about controller, which we can fix when we move into the back end. So this is how we create elements on canvas. In next video we will talk about dragging elements on canvas. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe.